What is up guys? It is DDJ here and we're back with another video on the channel. Today I have a very nice gameplay that I got the other day while I was going for Obsidian on the FAMAS here or the FR556 is what they call it in this game. I don't know why they didn't call it the FAMAS. I guess they wanted to go for a more uh, realistic type of name style since the game is more based towards realism more than uh, the arcade feel of Call of Duty would. I don't know, it's weird. But anyways, the gameplay that you're watching here is a 114 kill game with the FAMAS in hardcore shipment, um, hard point. I wasn't expecting to get this because like I said, during the time I was going for Obsidian Camo, which is one of the reasons why I didn't upload yesterday and I'm very sorry about that. I know my uploading schedule has been very inconsistent and it's because I keep torturing myself going for Obsidian Camo on these guns, but this is the final time that I'm going for Obsidian Camo and I will be making a video on the Obsidian Famas uh, and it most likely will be coming out Saturday. By the time you're seeing this video, it's most likely Friday, which is the day I'm recording it, so I don't even know why I said that. But yeah, I somehow get 114 kills in this game and it was very unexpected. I really wasn't too sure that I was even going to get this many kills. I mean, yeah, my goal for the match was to get a ton of kills because, you know, the more kills I get, the faster uh, getting Obsidian Camo will be. And I don't like to take too long when I'm getting Obsidian Camo. It usually takes me like around 12 hours, but um, the amount of time I play, that's like a day. So that's one of the reasons why I didn't upload the other day and the day before that when I was going for the Kilo. And just, I don't know, Obsidian Camo is just, I don't know, it could be so much better. I mean, yeah, it's cool to have an all black gun, but you know, I feel like there's more they could do to the camo to make it better. Like maybe add some hints of purple because you know, obsidian, I don't know. Just when I think of obsidian, I think of like purple or at least like a dark purple with some black in it. Like that would be really cool if they did that. Maybe like it hit certain reflections of light and you could see the purple in it or something like that. I don't know. It, it would have been cool, but this game is very, very based towards realism and they don't want to do any like crazy thing like how Black Ops, you know, they do like all the animated camels and stuff. They uh, they don't really go towards that. Infinity Ward have never been ones to really do that besides uh, Infinite Warfare, I believe. That was the only time they ever did an animated camel within one of their Call of Duty games, which is weird. But then again, that game was based on outer space and it wasn't realistic at all. And they just didn't really care what they did. They just put anything in that game. <laughs> Literally anything in that game. But yeah, it's it's interesting, man. So I don't know. The FAMAS is just one of those guns that is just... It's very mad to me. I wish it could be better. It's just... It lacks heavily in what it's supposed to mainly do. And one of its things it's supposed to do is one burst. And well, in this gameplay, you're probably watching like, hey, this FAMAS is one bursting just fine. What are you talking about? Well, this is just hardcore. And all these attachments, I was running literally just speed attachments on this thing. Nothing towards damage. And it was just one shotting on hardcore because, you know, that's what it's best at. But when you take this gun into core, you really see where it uh, fails as a burst weapon in the game. And it just doesn't really do what it's meant to do. And that is to one burst and a lot of the time you're going to be getting two bursts unless it's like a really close range that is when you get a guaranteed one burst or if you at least hit like two bullets on the head within the burst that will be in one burst but apart from that this gun will not really one burst as much as you think it will which really does suck because in call of duty my favorite types of weapons are burst sorry fools those are like the main guns i go to you've seen it briefly see all the time on my channel when there was black ops 3 Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare, just all those kinds of games, you know, BO4, World War II, all those Call of Duty games. Like, I've always steered towards the Burst Rifle, or at least a very fast shooting, a sorry for, with very good accuracy, like the ICR for a case. Um, this isn't even a Call of Duty that I've even uploaded on the channel, but you know, the ACR, the Kilo. All those kinds of guns. Those are guns I usually steer towards when I play Call of Duty because, you know, those are just the most fun weapons for me to use within the game. And it's the most entertaining and uh, usable for me. I don't know. I don't really go for, like, variety in Call of Duty. I mean, yeah, in this game I go for variety just because I always buy the Battle Pass. So there's always content to make because all of it's in the Battle Pass. 
and you know I guess it helps me get a little bit of variety but then at the same time I really don't care for variety. I would much rather just keep uploading a gun that I love using because that's how I would have fun playing the game but you know I like to switch it up sometimes I guess it helps uh, spread out my content to different portions of the game to help be found on YouTube and other kind of stuff if that makes sense I don't know it's it's weird it's a uh, I don't know be, just being a content creator it's uh it's very interesting I'll say, I'll say. there's a lot of things that you uh kind of have to do out of your comfort zone to really uh expand and you know really get out there and get noticed and all that kind of stuff and as you can see in this match there was also there was also a guy running around with the obsidian shield which was very interesting I never expected to encounter somebody actually using the obsidian shield ever because you know that would probably be annoying again as you can see right here I go absolutely off I get like a five on times two right here oh my it could have been a six on but you know my teammate got a kill right there and it messed up the feed and you know, that was a really good feed I'm not gonna lie that really should have been a six on but you know my teammate split me right there so it just didn't even show and it continued into a five on times two and that was very sad at first I thought it was a six on but you know I looked back at the recording and I was like man this dude really split me and then the dude with the obsidian shield comes out of nowhere and kill me. So I don't know. How many guns do you guys have obsidian, man? Right now I have four obsidian guns and I've uploaded all of them except for the ones onto the channel. I have the Growl 556 in the Obsidian, I have the Ram 7 Obsidian, the Kilo 1 for 1, and now we have the FAMAS, my final weapon. I really don't see myself ever grinding for this camo ever again. It's just Going for obsidian is so tedious and annoying because you know it's an easy challenge to do, but the amount of times you gotta do it is the real annoying part. Forcing yourself to play on maps that you would not want to ever play on ever again. Shipment is definitely one of those maps I don't want to play on again. Like I'm so tired of playing shipment. I've been grinding this camo for so many days on this map and it's very annoying. I would have tried to do this on shoot house, but shoot house that map, it used to be good, but then it, people realized that it was very good for doing mounting and long shot kills. So now all people do on that map is mount and do long shots and all that kind of stuff. And it's a very annoying map to play now. Rust, it, I don't know. This is a very unpopular opinion, but I'm not a fan of Rust. At least on this game, Rust is not enjoyable. A lot of people just go up top and they just camp and they don't do anything but camp up there and get their streaks. And even in hardcore, they somehow get to the top of there without being shot down. Which, you know, in hardcore, you have very minuscule health. So I don't know how they're getting up top without dying. Because if it was me, I'm pretty sure I'd get shot and suddenly trying to even climb up to the top. Or at least make it halfway. But yeah, just I don't know. Obsidian camo. It's just, it's, it's a very annoying camo to grind for. It, it definitely will test your limits of uh, your patience and all that kind of stuff. I'll tell you that at first hand experience <laughs> it's it's terrible man and apparently joe seacott he replied to somebody on twitter like the other day or something like that about there's going to be more grinding to do in the future and the people who replied to him they were talking about camos weapons and he just replied with grind so i don't know there might be another camo coming into the game that could be a potential mastery camo when there's definitely going to be more weapons because you know we have another season here coming up very soon in like june early early june i would assume maybe june 3rd if my math is correct there i'm not really too sure i didn't check how many days are left on the battle pass we got season four coming up here very shortly so stay tuned for that and that's going to be very interesting to come through a lot of people are hinting at the glue and the vector coming back I'm not too sure if there's going to be a new sniper well actually was a leaf sniper apparently it shoots like explosives kind of like the a the na45 from like advanced warfare if you know that type of sniper or the xm25 from like uh mw3 i don't think that was a sniper though that was, that was a launcher so i don't know why i said that but yeah it's kind of pretty much gonna be like an explosive sniper which i don't think that should be added to the game at all i think that would be very stupid of them to do and on top of that, we already have enough stuff to deal with in this game. Like, we still got people going around with dual snake shots, dual Renettis, you know, all that kind of stuff. Fire shotguns with the model and the VLK. There's just a lot of uh, stuff that they added to this game that I wish they really didn't do. Because it definitely is really uh, messed up uh, a lot of the entertainment on the multiplayer side of Modern Warfare. I know a lot of people have gone to Warzone just because multiplayer isn't really that... Uh, I guess you could say 
enjoyable anymore because of all the recent stuff they added and all the changes and whatnot they've done and you know warzone it's free to play and it attracts a lot of players and it's just what people want to see nowadays so most of the time you know you don't really see people really talk about multiplayer or any of that kind of stuff it's mainly focused on warzone but you know i've tried playing warzone i've tried getting into warzone but it's just it's just not for me and you know i'm just gonna stick to where i belong and that is multiplayer and you know i'm gonna try and do my best on multiplayer and keep opening uploading some of my best gameplays and all that kind of stuff i really don't know what i'm gonna do from here on out until next season to be honest I'm probably just going to try and get uh, 10k kills on my growl and make a video on that. Then I'm going to just try and grind out for like 100,000 kills. Currently I'm at like 79,000 something kills. So we'll see how far I get into that and maybe I'll make videos on those. I don't really know. I'm probably just going to be uploading one gun for like the rest of the season until the next season. And then I'll cover the new weapons and all that kind of stuff. Just I don't know. Content right now is very uh, dull for me right now. It's just I'm not really too sure what to make videos on. And on top of that, multiplayer is uh, it's pretty much dead at this point. Like Nobody really talks about multiplayer or anything. It's very, it's very dead. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. I think you guys are tired of hearing me ramble anyways. So if you did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and comment. It is very appreciated as we are on our road to 2,000 subscribers. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And I am out.